This is the teacher Mswanda from Power Day School, Grace Elwin teacher. This morning we are going to our home economics where we are going to look at the need of work. We are going to have home economics and we will be looking at need of work in home economics. Yes, last time we were looking at the, the arranging of fullness where we looked at the leads and the tax. And we say the leads and tax they are used for functional and decorative what purposes. Leads and the tax are used for functional and decorative what purposes. Now today I want us to look at the many damaged clothes. Many damaged clothes. So before we look at now the methods of mending damaged clothes, we need to look at what is mending. We need first to understand what is mending. So, mending is the process of repairing garments that are torn. Mending is the process of repairing garments that are torn. So here when we talk about this, mending is just a process of repairing garments that are torn. Now, we do this to prevent the torn from becoming what? Worse. We do this by, first, the first part you need to first do, you need first to mend your clothes, then you wash them. So. Mending is just a process of who? repairing what? Garments that are torn. Then we do this to prevent the what? The torn from becoming worse. That's why I said before you wash your clothes, you need first to mend them if they are those that are damaged. You mend them, then you wash them. Why do we do that? We do that to prevent the clothes or maybe the material from what becoming what waste or that area which is torn from becoming a waste that's why we make them before washing so here when you are talking about the many damaged clothes before you wash them you make them to avoid the damaged area from becoming waste then we need now to look at the methods of now mending clothes. What are some of the methods we use when we are mending clothes? So the first method we use here is The first method we use here is a patching. Patching is the first method we use when it comes to mending of damaged what? clothes. Now, what is this? So, this is done when the damaged area is too big. So, patching is done when the damaged area is too big. This needs an additional energy piece of material that you are going to pass on the damage water area or on the dormant area. So patching is done when the damaged area is too big and you need an, an additional water piece of fabric or material that you are going to put on the damaged water area. So the first method is what? Patching. And this is done when maybe the damaged area is too big to just use other methods. So you need an additional water piece of material that you are going to put on the torn water area so that you can cover that part. Under the same now patching, under the same patching, we have two ways of who or two types of patching. We have two types of wool patching. One is what we call
one is what we call print part and the second one is what we call so we have two many two types of who patching where we have who the first one which is the print patch and we have the calico patch so we have two types of who patching so a print patch this one is done by using what a machine especially on those printed what materials so this is done when you are using a machine on those clothes or materials that are what printed what parts so print part is used on those printed what materials by using a machine which is a sewing machine so here we have the first type then the second type is a calico patch a calico patch mainly is used on the bed linens and the table linens so when we talk about a calico patch a calico patch is used when we are talking about the damaged materials such as bed linens and the table linens so these are the two types of book patching then we move to the second what? The second method, which is dunning. So the second method is the dunning. And when we talk about the dunning, this is the use of a needle where you have put my threads on the what? On the needle, then you now make a weave on a what? On a, on a piece of material you want to repair. So when it comes to dunning, dunning is done by using a what? A needle. Then you make a weave on a damaged what? Material or on a torn what? Area. So this is just the use of a needle where you now make a weave on a damaged area. So dunning is the use of what? A needle where now you make now a weave on a torn area to cover the what? The part which is the torn. And this is done mainly for small, maybe damaged what areas. So when the, the, the part is too small, the damage area is too small, that's when you can use now what you call dunning, where you just see inter what? Inter interlace the what? The, the, the threads on the what? On a piece of wood material which is damaged. Then the third what method here. The third method is what we call again you need now to, to what to redo the same what 
capping so that he, you make them stronger again. Then from here we have the fourth what method that you can use, which is replacing what batteries. Replacing buttons is also one of the methods that you can use when you are talking about it, mending damaged clothes. When you talk about this, this is just a simple method that you can use. Maybe when you, on your material the, the, the buttons have come out, so you need just to replace by putting new ones which have the same quality, color, even the shape, even in the materials they have used with those patterns they have used. So here we are just talking about it, replacing the lost quality patterns or those that are damaged. So here what you need to do is just to check for the same quality patterns, the same color or the same type or the same material then you can just see, put them back. So this is one of the methods of mending damaged clothes. Then the other method here is just see, repairing what? Belts. Repairing belt carriers. Repairing belts or belt carriers. When we talk about this, we are talking about those carriers where the belt passes when we are putting on what? On your trouser. So here when we talk about this, sometimes they come out because of maybe forcing your belt in your trouser or maybe just see when they are not okay they come out so there you can just see repair them by using a machine or by just using a needle you can just see repair them so those they help to put the belt in position so these sometimes they come out so you need just to repair them by using a machine or just say using a needle and the threads. So here we are talking about the methods of mending what? Damaged clothes. The methods of mending damaged clothes. So here we have talked about these methods which are here, which are the first one we have patching, then we have turning, we have redoing gapping seams, then replacing buttons, then we have also repairing belt carriers. Then when we talk about these methods, the first method here we have is patching, where we have two types, and the two types we have we see print, patch, and the calico patch. So this is just simple. When you talk about uh, mending damaged clothes, you need to do this before washing your clothes to avoid making the damaged white areas worse. So I'm saying when you want to mend your clothes that, that are damaged, first thing you need to do, you need to mend the clothes before washing in order to prevent the torn areas from getting worse. This is done to prevent the torn areas from getting worse. So mending is just the process of repairing garments that are torn. Mending is just the process of repairing garments that are torn. And we do this before washing so that you prevent the torn areas 
from getting wet. Then under the same, we have methods of mending clothes. We have methods of mending clothes. And these methods, this is where now we have book patching, then we have book damming, then we have book redoing gapping seams, then we have also replacing buttons, and the last one we have, we see, repairing belt carriers. So under the first one, which is the patching, this is where we have book. The first type, which is the, the print patch, and we have the calico patch. And when we talk about this, patching is used when you are talking about a, maybe a large area which is damaged or the part which is damaged is too big. This is where you can use now an additional material on that part to mend the what? The area. Then under SM we have two types of machine, the print part which is used by just see putting using a machine on those printed materials. Then you have calico parts for bed linen and also the table linen. Then when it comes to dunning, this is done by using a needle where you make a weave on the torn wati part. Then we have also redoing gapping seams where you have to tighten the what the seams by strengthening them using the what the threads. And this is this uh, damage is mainly done when maybe you are putting on a tight what maybe material. Here you are going to destroy the what the seams. Then we have also replacing what buttons. Replacing buttons, this is what now you are going to find that when maybe the buttons are lost or maybe they are damaged, you are going just to buy new ones that you can replace on those that are damaged and those that are lost by just putting the same buttons on the cloth you are putting those buttons. Then, when it comes to repairing what? In belt carriers, you need just to repair them when they are loose or maybe when they are damaged by maybe knitting using a machine or just using a needle because those are the one that helps us to hold the what? The, the belt. Then from here we are now going to just write some questions I've prepared for you and these questions are very simple. You need just to answer them without even wasting time. So the questions I have for you, they are just simple. The first question is saying, what is mending? The first question is saying, what is mending? So here you give the meaning of who? mending. Then the second question is saying, mention the two types of who? patches. Mention the two types of patches. So here you just see write two types of who? patches. Then question three. Name any three methods of mending damaged clothes. Name any three methods of mending damaged clothes. So here we have mentioned a lot, so we just need to pick three methods of mending clothes. Then the last thing question. Why do we mend clothes before washing them? Why do we mend clothes before washing them? So these are some of the questions you are going to answer for me looking at it, what we have discussed today. So today we have discussed only mending damaged clothes, what is mending, then the methods of mending clothes and what is involved in those methods of who? mending clothes. Thank you for watching. This is your teacher, Teacher Msonda from Fountain School.